Hey, it's Alicia here, and I just wanted to film a quick video about how it's actually easier than you think to manifest your desires. And I wanted to film this video because I was reading a book by Dr. Joe Dispenza called Becoming Supernatural. And it's a really great book, and I love that it explains like the science behind, you know, why all of this stuff works. And it actually like comes with like meditations and things that you can do. And then, of course, all these testimonials of people who have been to his workshops and who have received really great benefit from it. But the thing is, when you see something like that, where you're like, oh, it makes so much sense. These people are getting all these great results. I should do that thing, too. It's really important to tune in to do you want to do that thing because it actually feels expansive and light or because you feel a bit of FOMO, a bit of fear of missing out, like, oh, what if I, if I don't do this thing, maybe I won't get the results that all these other people had. So it's really important to tune in. Um, but while I was reading this, you know, that was kind of happening to me, a bit of that FOMO, like he was talking about mind movies. Mind movies are pretty much like, it's like, you know, when you hear a song and it reminds you of a memory from the past and then your energy gets anchored back into the past. Well, a mind movie is doing that same thing, but putting your energy in the future that you desire, where you create like a slideshow with visions of things that you want with a song and like affirmations and stuff like that. And I've done stuff like that in the past and it's almost like a vision board. And so when I was reading this and reading all the results about these people who every time they did a mind movie, they manifested all these things that they wanted, there was a part of me that's like, oh, I should do that too. But it felt like effort. It didn't feel light and it didn't feel expansive for me. So that's how I knew it wasn't really going to be the thing that creates the most for me and that it doesn't actually have to be hard work or effort to manifest your desires. That doesn't mean that that's not the thing for you. You know, as I'm explaining this to you, maybe you're like, oh, I want to try that. And it feels light and expansive, then go for it. But if it feels like effort to like try to change your thoughts and do positive affirmations and do all these meditations, then it isn't going to be the thing that creates the most for you. You might actually manifest those things, but you won't you might not be happy when you receive those things if you're not in your natural state of love and if you're kind of living in resistance to that. So what you actually need to do, which is actually really easy, <laughs> is just be where you are more willingly. And the reason for that is because life is already inviting you and guiding you to receive your true heart's desires. And it's either going to show up as inspiration or desperation. You're going to see things and be like, oh, I would love that too. Or maybe it's showing up as desperation, like sadness that you don't have that. But either way, it's a sign that that thing is available to you now and you're just somehow blocking yourself from receiving it. But it's showing you that the universe is trying to bring it to you right now. And it's inviting you to be the emanation that matches that thing that you want. So all you have to do is be exactly where you are more willingly because life is already doing it for you. It's already the invitation. You are exactly where you're meant to be. You're not meant to be anywhere else than where you are right now because if you were to jump and try to skip to having all those things you want in your life without going through this process that the universe is trying to invite you into, um, you're just going to create more resistance and you won't actually truly feel happy when you get those things. It'll be conditional on those things. It won't be pure love, pure joy, pure happiness. So to actually receive everything that's already aligned with you and is already available for you right now, all you have to do is be in the present moment with more willingness and let life be the invitation and just let life guide you. So be where you are more willingly. So spend more time presencing what's coming up for you right now. Any discomfort that you're having, any lack that you're feeling, any loneliness that you're feeling, whatever it is that's coming up, it's coming up to be dissolved so that you can feel whole and complete. And then everything else that you receive in your life is just the cherry on top because you already feel whole and complete and it doesn't feel like anything is lacking. And it has to do with that be, do, have formula. I filmed a separate video about that. So I'll put a link to that in the description, but really it's as easy as being where you are right now with more willingness. You don't have to, you know, force yourself to have positive thoughts, do all these affirmations and things that feel like effort. 
unless it doesn't feel like effort and it feels like inspired action and it feels expansive and light, then definitely go for that. So there's two things actually that you need to do. That's all you really need to do to manifest your desires. That is be where you are more willingly, embrace what is, presence yourself more, and be willing to say yes to your yeses. So when the inspiration comes, you follow that. Because sometimes the mind can come in at that point and be like, yeah, but you don't really deserve that. But yeah, can it really be that easy? You know, your mind can start to um, uh, talk you out of your inspired actions. So s say yes to your yeses. It will feel light. It will feel expansive. Maybe there won't even be that much action to take. Maybe things will get taken care of for you. Synchronicities will show up for you. But really, it just requires those two things. Be where you are with more willingness and say yes to your yeses. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to be notified the next time I upload a video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.